Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Dumpster Cam. I am coming at you today with a pretty nice dumpster dive food haul. Um, that's what most of my hauls are these days now that most of the fun stores around me have either closed or gone to compactors but that's okay. I love food. I love to eat it. I love to get it for free and I love to share it with you guys. Um, however the first update is where we are filming from plus this little fuzzy friend. <laughs> um, I had my contractor come back and lay a countertop over my little utility area here. So this is my washer dryer combined unit. This is my dishwasher and this is just a little pull out shelf um, cabinet. And I do love the dishwasher. So I'm glad, I'm glad I put that in. Very happy about that. I will get a better angle of this and everything once I do film the whole house tour, which I promise will come. It's just, I don't know, I still haven't gotten everything together yet. Now I'm starting to decorate for Christmas, so it is what it is. We'll get there eventually, but I'm very happy I have this put on. The stain is just not, not stain, but, um, you know, it's just not, like, soaking in all the way. I'm not sure if too much was put on, but it's been, like, a week, I think. Maybe a, maybe a day or two less, but yeah, I think it was on a Monday. Um, but I don't know, whatever. It, actually, it's been more than a week, um, and it's just not soaking in perfectly. I even wiped some off, but it'll get there. So that's that update, which I'm very, very happy with. And now into the dumpster dive haul. I was also going to share a... Okay, so for t for me today, it is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, I believe I'm going to be uploading this sometime on Saturday. I did do a little bit of shopping this morning with my mom. We just hit a few thrift stores um, because they had, honestly, the best deals out of anybody. It seems nobody was really doing excellent Black Friday deals anymore except for the thrift stores. They were 50% off. So I found some fun stuff there. Um, but I hope everybody had a healthy, happy fabulous Thanksgiving if that is a holiday that you celebrate. Um, but what I was getting at was I was going to, I had it in the plans to do a fully dumpster dive Thanksgiving meal that I was going to share with you guys. However, I didn't end up doing that because I was just really overwhelmed with food this past week. Um, my birthday was on Monday, so we had like a brunch and then I went out to dinner and then it was Thanksgiving week and it was just food everywhere and I still have a fridge full of leftovers. So I just didn't want to add more onto that, so I didn't end up doing that. Maybe I'll do a free dumpster dive Christmas meal instead, so we'll see that. We'll get into the dive right now, though, um, but this little duck guy is not from the dumpster. This is a, <laughs> a birthday gift that my sister gave me. I think he's super cute, and I do love him. Now for the dive. Um, we'll start right here. This is the only thing I have from Dollar General, and these are thank you cards. They were slashed. I'm going to assume it was on purpose. I don't know, but I think that is only through the first card. So the rest of those should still be good. I have three packs of fresh garlic. Um, there are five in each, five heads in each. So I love garlic. I will definitely utilize this. I don't know if anybody's been around since literally the beginning, but I want to say maybe six or seven years ago I found just hordes of garlic in the Aldi dumpster and I um, took the time to peel it all and preserve it in vinegar. So maybe I can do that with these. It'll be a little less intimidating since I only have 15 heads here. Um, and then believe it or not, I also found some fresh peeled garlic in the bag, which again, I love garlic. So this will be great. I don't see anything wrong with that. I will use those. I have a can of sardines, which honestly, I don't know if I have ever even eaten sardines before, but I will give those a try, maybe on a pizza, a dumpster pizza. <laughs> and then I have some smoked oysters in cottonseed oil, and maybe in an unpopular opinion, but I do love little smoked oysters in the tins here. I actually buy those myself, so I will enjoy that. Coming over here, these are from Gordon Food Services. I got another one of these marble iced sliced cake things. I found one of these not too long ago. 
I enjoyed it and it is gone, so I will restock with this. And then I found two of the double chocolate iced sliced cakes, which I'm sure are also delicious. I'll probably freeze some of this because I just can't keep up with all the desserts. <laughs> um, but I'm sure those will be super tasty. And speaking of that, I was glad to find some healthier options. I've just been really finding a lot of dessert things recently. So I found seven of these chickpea salads from Aldi. Um, it's chickpeas, edamame beans, cranberries, carrots, and bell peppers. The cranberries are interesting. I have bought the um, black bean salads that they have at Aldi before, but never the chickpea ones. So I am excited to try these. I love chickpeas. I think I'll probably keep two out, maybe freeze the others, hope they do well. I'm not sure if these will do well in the freezer. Um... But today is their date, their best by date, and uh, I do not want them to go bad. So I'll try to preserve those. Back from Gordon Food Services, I have two of these giant tomato sauces. And these are actually fancy Midwest tomato sauce, <laughs> which I really have no clue what that means. Um, but tomato sauce is tomato sauce. I'm sure they will work out just fine. I don't love tomato sauce, but I will find something to utilize those for. Still from Gordon's, I have this fabulous loaf of rye bread. And now that I'm looking at it, it actually has a little hole right here, so I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll investigate. Maybe I'll heat it up a little bit to kill anything that might have been in there. Or freeze it. Who knows? Um, but it is a nice loaf of rye bread. From Gordon's as well, I have these hand-breaded cheese curds. You can kind of get a peek of them there on the side. I do love cheese, so can't go wrong with that. It says they're white cheddar. And the last little bit from Gordon's here, I found some mushrooms. I actually had two of these one and a half pound white sliced mushrooms. Um, my, I do love mushrooms, and sometimes I crave mushrooms, but I just don't have them on hand. Uh, they're hard to keep in the fridge because they do go bad fairly quickly. So I decided I would dehydrate those. This is just a little bit of what I had in this super cute little jar I found at the thrift store a little while ago. Um, so I have to finish the rest of these ones, and then I will have all those dehydrated mushrooms. And then there's some more fresh, like, little Bella mushrooms. Um, I don't know, those Those don't look super great. They might just end up in the compost. So, But I'm excited about these white dehydrated mushrooms. Super yummy. Okay, last thing from the dumpster are these pumpkin pies from Aldi. There are four right here. I actually had five total. Um, these four have been in the freezer because, like I said, um, it was Thanksgiving and everything, and I found these maybe a week and a half or two. Yeah, maybe a week and a half ago. Maybe a week or so. I don't know. Um, and it just didn't make sense to keep them out, so I took one out, which I've since eaten, <laughs> and... These have been in the freezer, and I'll just take them out as I am ready for them. But pumpkin pie is my absolute favorite thing in the entire world, and I will have no problem eating these at some point. So that's it for the dumpster dive haul. Nothing major, but some good, unique items that I'm excited to have. It's just been very slim pickings here in my neck of the woods, um, dumpster food-wise, but it's also been very busy at the dumpsters. I, I can't go a week without running into somebody already at a dumpster or somebody pulling up after me, which is great because the whole goal is to reduce waste. And um, I'm not, you know, I can't be the only one who's doing that, and especially in these hard times. So I'm glad that other people are utilizing the food dumpsters as well. So that's it for the dumpster dive. And then I wanted to update you on some of my little food experiments. I have a friend down here. <laughs> Um, if you have been following along, I started some vanilla extract. So I just have some grade B vanilla beans in here that I actually just got from Amazon. They've been in here for th three weeks, maybe? I'll have to go back and check, but it's looking great. I just shake it occasionally. Um, it's not going to be ready for a while, but that is coming along nicely. This is the apple scrap vinegar that I am in the process of making. I let it sit for a while with the actual scraps in it. Then I strained those and I'm letting it breathe still to get a little more fermentation. I just keep the dish towel on top. 
Um, I mean, not much to see there, but I think it's coming along very nicely. It smells good. And uh, it's definitely vinegary. And then this one I'm excited about. If you remember, I tried to make the SCOBY for kombucha before, and it did not work. It molded this one. Yeah, like I said, it's a little harder to see, but that is a thick, jiggly, gelatinous <laughs> SCOBY. So it is working out much better with the new recipe that I followed. I made two of them, and the other one is turning out just, just great as well. It's not quite as thick, so maybe this dark jar is helping, but the other jar is a little bit bigger, so maybe that's why. But they're both great. There's no mold, and they are fabulous. So I'm excited to finish those up and then make some kombucha with that. But that is it for my haul today, guys. I'm excited to share it with you. I hope everyone had a great holiday and holidays coming up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam. And I will be back soon with more dumpster diving, house, cat, kitchen experiments, all sorts of fun videos. Bye, guys.